Hi everyone, today I will show you the code for the uh, different machine learning algorithms. Uh, I use the UCI dataset for Avalon. Uh, we will predict the age of the Avalon using the rings. And here is the code. Uh, this is sim a simple Google Colab uh, notebook. And uh, from this, we are attaching the drive here. And then we are importing pandas and numpy. Here we are uh, giving the path from the drive and we are reading it using the CSV. Now this is the uh, data set and we can see there are nine columns and uh, there are 4,177 4, rows and this will be our final output column which we will be predicting. Now here we can see that everything is numerical except the sex uh, column and uh, we need numerical data not categorical data for the machine learning algorithms so we will convert this column as a, a numerical data set and we will using one hot encoding and uh, one hot encoding and for that we will uh, make three new columns mfi because these are the three attributes and we will give them uh, zero value and then we will use for m 100 for female 010 and for i infant 001 so now we are using this and then we are dropping this x column here and now this is done and now we can see the correlation with the rings column as we want to uh, predict the rings. We are checking the rings column here. Uh, we can see these three are not uh, helping us much, but we can see from here that correlation is nearly the same. And this is a, this is having the maximum correlation. Hence, we will be taking all the columns in account. And now we will. Uh, simply make the x and y the x's are the we the features we want to give into the models and y what we want as output so we are um, dropping the rings from the uh, original date the pandas data frame as x and then we are taking rings in y uh, in the from the data, pandas data frame and then we are normalizing using this. We are, we are using normalization here for normalizing all the data here so that it will come in a particular fashion. And you can read different articles about pre-processing and everything. And where normalization is required, we are using simply an sklearn package. And then we are, um, Splitting the data, data set, X train, uh, X test, Y train, Y test, and we are using X and Y, and we are using 30% as the test data set. And now we will train different algorithms first without regularization. First, we will use decision trees, and then we have imported the important packages there, uh, mean squared error then absolute error and R2 score. This is for the um, comparison of different um, different metrics. And this is SQLearn. We are importing the decision tree. And now we are following the decision tree regressor. And then we are fitting. Then again, we are predicting here the X test. And then we are calculating the mean squared error, uh, the R2 score, and mean absolute error. This procedure we will continue in every um, in every uh, other algorithms. So um, here we are calculating, and then we can you can see that the mean absolute error is 2.08, squared error is 9.04, R2 square is this. And now we are using a linear regression model and we are simply calling the linear regression from the sklearn and we are doing the same procedure here. The, we are fitting the data, we are predicting and then calculating the mean squared 
R2, R2 score and mean absolute error and you can see here the output. Now for the polynomial regression, what we will do is uh, we will uh, try, we first we will um, polynomial, we will import the polynomial features and we will convert our data, the extrained data in the, in the form of polynomial features uh, using this command and then we will fit a linear regression model only um, and as the uh, features are uh, what we can say in um, uh, are of polynomial type then it will work as polynomial regression we will do the same thing here and now um, this will be the output now we are using a random forest and we will uh, use the random forest from SQL in itself. Now, random forest is a, uh, is a, classif a classification, or uh, we can use it as a classification or regression problem. And in this, we grow many decision trees, and then we take the error of each decision tree in account. And we are simply using the SQL and package here, and this is the error. And we can see the error here. Now we will train a neural network. So in neural network, it's important that what we are doing. So here, first of all, we have to create a model. So we can make a sequential model. We are um, using dense layers. We have named the model as sequential. And then we are using an activation layer of ReLU in each case here and the input shape is of 10 columns we have seen earlier that it was of nine columns and then we have used one as the output then we have remained with uh, six but uh, with eight but we added three different columns and removed six so we have 10 columns in total as the input shape and then we are using 256 nodes you can use any combination but here this combination is working for me you can try different ones and then we have added one two hidden layer three hidden layers and then uh, the last layer is of uh, has having only one node because it's a regression problem we don't have to classify things so we have to get a value we are using mean squared error as a loss and the optimizer as adam and uh, matrix also as mean absolute error you can here this is mean square error this is mean absolute error and then in the history we are simply uh, fitting the model which we have designed here and then uh, batch size of 100 number of epochs we have defined as 15 you can change it and see the, see different results so above is for getting the values here now we can see that uh, we are getting the uh, summary from this line number of layers and number of parameters we are training in each layer you can see that since the number of nodes are equal here the number of parameters is also same here and then we are training and you can see the loss and the mean absolute error in each epoch and you can see it is uh, decreasing and then it's it is not decre decreasing much here now we have trained our model and then we have to evaluate our model. So this is the train uh, we are training. We are uh, uh, evaluating our X train Y train, and then we are also evaluating our X test and Y test. And then we are uh, printing the accuracy. So here we are printing the accuracy, and it's test accuracy is 4801 and 1.60 this is the mean squared and this is the mean absolute Uh, lastly, we are using an SVM model, support vector machine, but support vector machine is for classification. We will use the support vector regression model, uh, which is the counterpart for the vector machine uh, for regression. And we are using the, sim the same regressor 
uh, SQLN package and we are calling the SVR model here and we can use any kernel when test and experiment and for me it was working uh, regressor dot fit we will uh, fit the model as above and then we will calculate the scores here now these we have done without regularization now we can use it with regularization uh, we are using linear regression with a ridge model ridge regularization and we have input directly ridge from the SK learn package and then we have done the similar steps and we have noted the mean absolute error and mean squared error we have done the same thing with lasso and we have imported uh, this lasso from sklearn now here the interesting thing is that we are importing lasso and uh, ridge as a model here and these models are inbuilt with linear regression if you want to use it with decision trees or anything else you can uh, use the pipeline method uh, i haven't used it but you can use it so uh, for more detailed info you can uh, go to my medium link uh, medium blog link and i will be sharing it in the uh, description box uh, thanks for watching